Within Brazil's Indigenous Affairs Agency, there is a special unit charged with going out into the field and verifying the reports that come in from eyewitnesses or from intelligence recon flights of a fleeting group of um, indigenous people. The forest in the Amazon back then was still unexplored and uh, populations unknown. And there was a, probably a count of somewhere around 350, 400 tribes, um, but nobody was really keeping count at that point. In the 19th century, early 20th century, during the rubber boom, tappers went deep into the forest, rounding up indigenous villages and press-ganging them into um, tapping rubber and, and basically uh, to serve as slaves. They were just completely wiped out. Um, often, um, maybe it was violence to begin with, massacres, but um, what massacres or extreme violence didn't do, epidemic diseases did. Generally speaking, the advance of civilization into these areas are illegal loggers, illegal gold prospectors, um, illegal animal hunters. These are the kinds of elements who are prone to violence, to shoot first and ask questions later. So the face of civilization that's presented to these groups um, is not a welcoming one. A number of people have suggested and even argued that it's really no longer a humane thing to keep these groups isolated, that they should enjoy the benefits of modern civilization. The problem is that often these groups end up in the lowest rungs of society. We say, oh, they'll benefit from our education and our modern medicine, but so often they don't get those benefits. And so they end up often living in squalor and destitution. These groups cannot survive without intact, pristine rainforest. They need water that's unpolluted. They need the trees. They need to be free from persecution by um, outsiders coming in to poach their animals or cut their trees or um, dig up their land. If these tribes, all of them disappear, it will be a tragedy for humanity. Thank you.